I'm guessing you go the with power him. Of Looks like friends. Important's happening. Hmm. Power of Satan compels you. Hundreds of years Watch ago, it. it was becoming apparent that our time was running out. Yet we were slow to heed the warnings of impending doom. The seemingly so, Krypton. of mankind and all that is many living stuff. Oh, it's an it's a deep game. Deep. Tradition and the status quo were our excuses for complacency. The certainty of not just losing our way of life, but possibly our very lives. And the demise of our entire race is now becoming a reality. A reality we can Hell no yeah, longer dude. choose to ignore. Didn't then Sam and Max become serious? I think around season three of the Telltale Games. Got it. I mean, I was meaning the fact that the type that this guy is rambling rather philosophically. <sighs> okay. Yeah, Sam and Max can, or, can walk the tightrope between, in, si between smart and stupid. All right. Oh, this is like the LucasArts Sam and Max games. Yeah, okay, so yeah. the next thing it says, pick up the ice pack that's wedged into the freezer on the left. So... Count to ten and make a wish. <laughs> we can mingle with the locals. Oh, okay, so is this the fridge? It looks... Yes. Is it cold? I it mean, it's like coated in ice, is it not? Then if it's not Canada, it's a fridge. Fuck you. But no! Oh, God damn it. You dumb oh. shit! No, look at the look. Yeah, that. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. <sighs> oh, you gotta pick it up! This is completely useless. Anyway, this will come back later in the story. Oh. There right we then. go. Alright, so I guess that's a chisel or something. Um, oh, it's an ice pick. Okay, I thought it was like pack of ice. I misread that. Walk up to the supper closed door. Oh, upper closed door. Nope, supper closed door. You must find the hamburgers. Shut up. This is the way. God, God damn, that just actually <clears throat> made me sad. <laughs> so, I, I made a joke on Twitter about the, um, the Black Adam trailer that came out, and I just wrote... The fact we are about to have a functional Justice Society of America before we even have a functional Justice League in the movies is just... It's just sad, man. And uh, one of my mutuals replied with, We've got two Justice Societies of America right now. It's like, Jesus Christ. Can DC, we man. We haven't ever had a functional DC in a long-ass time. Yeah. Like, Alright, so... After Bump Snatch from an ambush is you, use the costume inventory to remove your disguise. Alright then. <laughs> There's something you should know, Bumpus. <laughs> <laughs> Just toss them off. You again? Yeah. I left the net back in Bumpus Leo. Forget the net. Bumpus Leo. That's a great game. So yeah, he's basically a Liverpoolian Elvis wannabe, in case y'all haven't figured it out. Oh, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And no funny stuff, dog boy. Yeah. But this is a Lucas Arts game, so we've got to be funny. Hey, Max, why don't you make yourself useful? Hey, Max, why don't you make yourself useful? Yeah! <laughs> Max. Kill. Uh, that, um, okay. We may have done a nasty no no. Yeti chefs. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Jeffrey, yeah, oh, we may have done a nasty no no. I know. I know. I know. I don't like Family Guy. There's so, many, there's so many good voices in Family Guy to make to use. Like, I, I find myself always going back to a Family Guy voice if I'm looking for something. Like the early Family Guy is still decent. It's just later when they started really 
flanderizing I, the characters, making them extremely unlikable. I have the one, my one Family Guy opinion that I will maintain is that Family Guy would be better as a series of Sunday morning cartoon strips. Like, the the forma, format of the cutaway gag in a Family Guy episode, it just feels like it's a con, like, like you're opening the Sunday paper, like it feels like that's a, a strip, like there should be a Family Guy strip, and that would work. It doesn't work as an animated series. It's just a series of the funny papers where like half the jokes aren't actually funny, but you're like, haha, that's kind of that's kind of cute. Wait, the jokes are supposed to be funny in Family Guy? Yeah, supposedly. <laughs> huh. There's one or two that I'm like, okay, that's actually funny. The only time I feel like Family Guy quote unquote worked was when they actually tried to be quote unquote worked. When they tried to be serious, like <laughs> the episode where twice. the episode where Brian, where Brian has to take care of that old lady because he got a DUI, but then he learns that she was actually a really good opera singer who unfortunately got snubbed by everybody, so which is so bitter. So he tries to have a really good friendship with her, but she dies. But he ends up giving her one last happy day, one last happy day before she dies. And there's also the, the subplot of Peter deciding. To take care of a bunch of, a bunch of little birds that ended up making the nest in his gear that he was getting. I'll be right, I'll be right back real quick. I need to check on my cat and grab a quick overalls. Okay. Enjoy the fruitcake! Nobody likes fruitcake. No one. No. Like fruitcake! Okay, your fruitcake. <laughs> Alright. Come on, yeah. Okay, uh, pick up the wine bottle from the buffet. Once the cutscene finishes, use your car to go back to the world's largest ball of, uh, twine museum. Alright. So... backtracking in this game. Yeah, there is. Uh, I think it was over here. Yep, alright. Were you supposed to use the bottle first? Hold on. I'm gonna ask him questions. Okay, Sam. He's here. We're here. Let's go. Wait. Go where? Back to the carnival so we can get paid, you big lummox. I may be slow, but I am not stupid. I am staying right here. I may be stupid. That's the end of the sentence. So, over like the last couple days, I built the uh, one of the Lego Lightyear sets, and oh my god, this set is so pretty. Uh, like, what did you think of Lightyear, if I'm asked? I fucking love it. Hmm. It's awesome. one of my favorite movies that? of the year. Duly noted. Hmm? I mean, I'd expect to know less from you. You're either going to absolutely love it or hate it. I, it's a dumb sci-fi movie, so, you know, I was going to have some fun with it no matter what. But, like, I just genuinely like it a lot. People who are like, it's not like the canon of the original show. It's like, the original show has some fucking dubious canonicity to begin with. <laughs> the, I will never get over the people like, yeah, it's the original series is canon, this one isn't. I'm like, okay, the original series had the little green men, like, from Pizza Planet, which makes absolutely no sense because... They have no relationship to Buzz Lightyear. It's just the theming of a restaurant. I'm back. So they... Welcome back. We're talking about Lightyear. Yep. Oh, like, look at that spaceship. It looks so good. I have not seen Lightyear. I'm not really interested. I prefer the original Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. <laughs> <laughs> I would like them to actually finally release that on Disney Plus because, like, there are some genuinely fucking hilarious moments in that show that I'm like, yep, that's that's great. I still think one of the funniest jokes in the original movie that they made for it was literally the first line of Bates. 
I work here. <laughs> like, that's... I, I will quote that way too often. <laughs> This is the universe. I work here. <laughs> the plot twist ruined light year. Like, yeah. not really. I don't hate it. <laughs> it's 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 kind of fine. I like the fact that they decided, yeah, we're gonna make the light year movie Interstellar for kids. Like that's kind of rad. But it was written by somebody who's actually felt a human emotion before. No. Not Christopher Nolan, oh, who I never think has felt a human emotion. Wait, what happened, Golden? Uh, in the game. It says the uh, worn people who have spaghetti on their heads. Really noted. Spaghetti! Yes? I think it has something to do with teeth. With teeth? Wow! How do you get that good? Wow. Okay. So, something with teeth would be the T-Rex one, yeah. Ooh. Let's okay. try that. All we can, all we have to do now is f fulfill these totem poles, and we'll finish the game. And you can okay. And you have to actually watch, walk to the hot tub behind the things. All right, so let's see. I got the bottle. Uh, once you can use your car to go back to the world's largest ball of twine museum. All right. Yeah, there are just a little two rigmarole things you gotta do first. But then we are at the end, boss. Except there is no boss. What the hell? No, I meant continue. All right, though. I do have to head off because I have work in eight in the morning. I didn't think I was oh. going to have work. Tomorrow, but I do. Tomorrow, Sam, what the hell are you off, doing? Got have a good out. one, Rob. Uh, Always good to see you. See, yeah, have a good night, Rob. See y'all. Yeah. Bye, Rob. Bye bye. See you, Robin. Okay, what the hell? I'm... What? No! Stop. Uh oh. No. There we go. There, there you go. Oh. That was a weird way to, like, Aim a direction. But still, you accomplished exiting! Mm hmm. Pineapple. <laughs> no, 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 no. Exit. Over here. Sam. Exit? There's left even. There. I mentioned I really love the backgrounds for the game. Mm. Yeah. All right. World ball over here. All right. <clears throat> Go back to the restaurant and ask the man to bend your ice pick. All right. So we would have to go over here. Let's see if we can catch the tramway. Can we do it? Are we going to do it? Can we push it? Can we do it? Do do? Do Doesn't do? look like do? it. <laughs> oh no, we didn't do it. Oh well. Max is taking his sweet ass time coming up there, like catching up. <laughs> Alright, it's coming back down. If we catch the tram, he actually speeds up. Yeah. It's like, way to finally join us, little buddy! Shake a leg, Max. <laughs> See what I mean? Alright. Uh, no, no. Back to... There we go. Back to over here. To the left, and... To the left, to the left, to the left, y'all. That it is. Let us use it! Sure fish. Let's see. Hmm. How's that? Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's all it's all squiggly and shit. <laughs> Alright. Use the ice pick. To open the wine bottle. Alright. So That seems to have gotten the cork off. 
Shall we raise a toast to nuclear disarmament? Just poison. Don't be silly.